Groups like the American Heart Association and the American Cancer Association are calling the study questionable. Joining me now is the Chief of Cardiology, Dr. Samuel Oza at Ascension St. Vincent's. Thank you so much for coming in and talking about this. People at home, I'm sure, are like, what is going on? One minute we're saying not to do it, one minute we're saying it's okay. What really is going on? So I think this study really does confuse the situation quite a bit. Um, it, there's, there's a lot of problems with the study that um, a lot of different researchers have pointed out um, over the past few weeks since it's come out. Um, one of the main things is that this will complicate the situation. We do know that there are many, many studies out there that clearly show a deleterious effect to our health from red meat and processed meats. What this study does is it actually looks at health and dietary studies, lifestyle studies, as we look at drug studies, as we look at device studies. Randomized control trials are the gold standard for, for all studies in general. However, we cannot do that for dietary studies. This is never going to happen. We'd have to randomize patients to either eating meat or not eating meat for 20 years, and basically they can't veer from those diets. Mm. So that really can't be done. What this new study did is look at dietary studies and gave them relevance based on them adhering to those strict guidelines. So a lot of studies that we take as kind of the holy grails of uh, dietary studies, they discounted. So many huge studies, there's a study called the Lion Heart Study that looked at thousands and thousands of people over many, many years that clearly showed an association of eating red meat um, versus a Mediterranean type diet uh, showing a lot of bad effects um, on cancer, on diabetes, on heart disease. Um, and there's many, many studies that point us in that direction. Right, and going off that theme, why is it red meat is not good for us? So red meat is very, very high in cholesterol. It's very high in saturated fat. Um, processed meats have a lot of salt. Um, these are all very um, oxidative, pro-inflammatory foods that, um, that can cause a lot of heart disease. Again, uh, stroke, lead to diabetes, uh, weight gain, uh, things like that. And when we talk about 80% of cardiac events are preventable, this goes hand in hand right there. Correct. If you ever come through my clinic, you know that lifestyle is probably the main thing I'll mm. harp on to my patients, that you know, all these diseases are preventable. All these diseases that we have in, in modern society can be changed by having a uh, sustainable, very um, plant-based diet. With that said, what is a heart-healthy diet? So the ideal diet for patients of mine that have heart disease is going to be a plant-based diet. Um, now, it depends on your, your overall goals for your diet. So if you're a healthy young person, then a preventative diet is okay. So a Mediterranean type diet, high in fruits, vegetables, nuts, grains, cold water fish, lean meats such as uh, lean chicken, uh, lean white meats is, is reasonable for those people. However, if you have diabetes, if you have heart disease, if you have high blood pressure, these are things that it's secondary prevention. You're actually trying to, uh, you know, the, the, the horse is out of the barn, you have to try to get it back in. So you have to have a more strict uh, diet. You have to basically cut out a lot of these other meats and maybe cold water fish may be okay still, but because of their high omega-3 content, but you really have to focus on the plant-based diet. You have to cut out the saturated fats, cut out the processed foods, um, and really be a lot more strict at that point. I know if my father's watching, he's going to say, I'm not giving up the red meat for people like him. Do they have to give it up altogether? Well, again, it depends on your goals. Um, and there are many people that, that will not give up red meat. And for them, I say, you know, make sure you have lean cuts of meat, cut off the fat. If you're cooking the meat, try to pour off uh, any excess grease um, and try to minimize how much you do it. I mean, save it for special occasions. Um, try not to make it a usual thing that you're going to have every week. And really quick, besides eating a heart-healthy diet, what else can people do to reduce their risk of heart disease? Sure. Well, um, you know, exercise mm -hmm. is key. Um, being active, using up those calories that you consume um, four to five times a week, at least 30 to 45 minutes of exercise is what we recommend. Um, and stress reduction. You know, there's many techniques now, <laughs> meditation, right? yoga, yoga, all those things. Those are... You know, they seem kind of just a simple food, walk, but, right? Yeah, oh yeah, at absolutely. the end of the day, I mean, so, some, anything that will take your mind off of all the problems you have in life. I think those are those are uh, key things to uh, to focus on uh, if you want to have a heart healthy uh, lifestyle. Doctor Oza, always a pleasure. Great information. Thank, Thank you. you so much for joining us this Thank Sunday morning. Thank you for having me. Thank you.